take a look at how you use the DST triangle to calculate distance, speed and time. The purpose of the DST triangle is it can help you remember the speed, distance and time formulas. First, the way to remember how to lay out the letters in the triangle is that they are in alphabetical order. D, S, T. Then add dividing lines between them. The reason for these will become clear later. You find the formula you need to use by simply covering up the letter of what it is you need to find. If the question asks you how far something travelled, you cover up D. If you are asked how fast, cover S. And for questions asking how long, cover the T for time. Here is how you should use it. To find the formula for speed of an object, we cover up the S. This then shows that distance is over time, or distance divided by time. For distance of an object, cover up the D. This leaves S and T. As they are next to one another, this shows you need to multiply them. Now for time an object has travelled. Cover up the T. You are left with distance over speed, so you need to divide distance by speed. Let's apply this to some questions and work through an example of each. A car takes six minutes to travel five miles. What is its speed in miles per hour? So, for this question we need to find the speed, so we cover up the S on our triangle which indicates we need to divide distance by time. The car has travelled six miles and our answer will be in miles per hour, so we do need to convert our minutes into hours first. Convert the six minutes by dividing by 60 like this. Now we can work out our answer from 5 divided by 0.1, which equals 50 miles an hour. Here is our next question. An aeroplane flew at 400 miles per hour for three and a half hours. How far did it travel? This time it's asking how far, so we are looking to find out the distance here. So by covering the D, we are left with speed times time. That gives us 400 multiplied by 3.5, which equals distance travelled of 1400 miles. Here is our final question. Brian is planning to cycle 84 kilometres to a hotel for an overnight stay. He cycles at a constant speed of 24 kilometres an hour. How much time will it take him to get there? So, on our triangle we need to cover up the T. This shows us we need to divide our distance by speed. That's 84 kilometres an hour divided by 24. That gives us three and a half hours. So, that's how the DST triangle works. Now take some time to try answering some questions on your own.